All right, so this is the main entryway. Come past the sign, you'll see the check-in up on the right. And then just an overview of the park. We won't uh, do every site, but we'll do a walkthrough and give you a sampling of the sites. All right, so we just walked down the main entryway after the office, and you come to this main intersection here. You can go to the right, up the hill a few spots, go to the center area, which looks like the original sites, and then you can come over here and go down and around, and then back there on the far side, can't see it in here, is the new area we'll show you when we get around there. So these are um, the late 50s, early 60s sites, 59, 58, 59, 60, 61. And you can see, I think these were the original sites with the concrete pads, probably the original KOA campground. I'm guessing based on that A-frame building up there is why I think this was a KOA at one time. So we have another uh, sort of branch here by the pond. And I guess this would be the northern, far northern section. And I believe a bathhouse, community house, and all that are up here. We'll take a look when we get a little bit closer. All right, so we're walking through what I'm referring to as the northern um, section. And up here on the right is the bathhouse and the community center. These are also concrete pads, so probably original or maybe a few add-ons from the KOA. So here's the bathhouse. The reviews all say it's maintained really well. I'm not going to walk to the bathroom with the camera though. So uh, there's some area down there for you to go. There's some benches down by the ponds. And this morning the dogs got to walk down there and check it out. We're coming around the back side of the northern loop and in the background there you can see kind of the central area. All right, so now we're looking across the pond at what is probably the main or the original main area and kind of off to the right there. It's just you can barely make out some of the new spots. All right, so this is sort of the middle or main area, I'm guessing. It's like there's a cottage cabin there that you can rent out. And then we're gonna look back across to the northern sort of loop that we just walked through. And then it's Highway 231 there in the background. So we're walking <clears throat> downhill, um, kind of the what I take is the new area, and I assume that based on the fact that there are no trees, and it's kind of just different looking down here than everything else. We took the site on the far right up here, wanted to have a good view for the Starlink, working pretty good here. So this is that uh, bottom or newer section in the 100s, and uh, not just here, but kind of all throughout. Uh, I'd say the majority of the people are long-termers, you know, at least uh, snowbirders perhaps, or something along those lines, but it doesn't look like too many weekenders here, just based on the, how the campsites look with all the stuff. So this is our rig, and we're on site 111. Kind of the very end. I chose it because we have no neighbors on the yard side. On, on my truck, I had a. Turns out I was able to park over there by the gravel. And then this is where the kind of the yard goes down. Big open field for the dogs to chase squirrels in. 